Hi everyone, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to tell you guys all of the things that I am doing to keep my store alive while sales are slow. A lot of us online sellers are experiencing a dip in sales, myself included, and I do believe it's because a lot of people are worried about the security of their jobs because so many stores and businesses are having to close up because of the pandemic. And a lot of you guys have reached out to me very concerned about your sales either slowing down or stopping. And so I wanted to tell you guys exactly what I am doing to keep my store alive. And as a reminder, if you do like content like this and find it helpful, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. That way I know that you appreciate me giving you this content. And also remember to share it with somebody that you feel would benefit from this information. So now the first thing that I am doing to keep my e eBay store alive during these times is I am sending offers to watchers. Now I have mentioned sending offers to watchers before, but when I say I'm sending offers to watchers now, I mean I am sending offers to watchers, as in multiple times a day and much bigger discounts. Before I would send offers to watchers every couple of days, I wasn't even really doing it on a daily basis, and I was only doing maybe nine, 10, or 11% off. But now I am sending offers to watchers multiple times a day. If I'm on the computer, I will send the offers to watchers in bulk and I will do as much as a 15 to 20% off discount. And if I have my phone handy and I'm just kind of maybe having some cuddle time with Benjamin while we're quarantined, I'll just scroll through whatever, uh, whatever listings are available for sending offers to watchers and I will just send them one at a time by hand using the eBay app and when I do that I find that my discounts are even bigger like 25% off or 30% off and it has been helping so I'm not sending such big discounts that I'm losing money or simply breaking even but I am getting some capital back I am keeping the cash flow moving and I am creating some sort of profit but something else that's working is even though people might not be accepting the offers of the items that I'm sending out somebody else might come in and buy it for full price that is something that actually happened to me I sent out an offer for an item and nobody bought it but then later that day someone else came in and bought the item at full price it just kind of goes along with that entire mindset that any sort of activity on a listing is going to drive more traffic to it so just because you send out offers on that item there's a very real possibility that someone else could swoop in and buy that item at full price just because you gave that listing some attention. Something else that I'm doing in that same vein is I am accepting more offers. So I always preach to you guys about accepting offers because accepting offers triggers more sales. I truly believe that in eBay. But I am accepting even more offers now even if the price isn't exactly what I was hoping to get. Again, these are offers that aren't necessarily necessarily making me lose money, but it's all about the cash flow. I'm at least getting a little more than what I paid for it. It's keeping cash coming into my account so that I have a little bit more of a nest egg building up in my PayPal. This is also a time where other people are scared. And if you're selling something that somebody else really needs and they can't go out to the store to get it because they are doing what they're supposed to be doing by self quarantining, giving them a deal when they have very little money is a really good way to earn some karma. For instance, I took an offer on some children's cough medicine it was a lot lower than I wanted to accept but I didn't lose any money and I gave somebody a really good deal and I know that that cough medicine is probably going to be put to really good use so I'm accepting a lot of offers and trying really hard not to be greedy I'm practicing gratitude for whatever offers I get in I am also continuing to list and be active in eBay every single day. You know, right now I'm trying to adjust to the new normal of having my kids in the house 24 seven. And it's been really hard for me to find time to list brand new merchandise in my eBay store. But I did just show you guys last week on the vlog that I did. If you missed it, I'll link it up here. I did a work from home vlog where I showed going into my eBay listings and just simply replenishing quantities. So if I 
I can't list new items in eBay, I am at least going in and adding quantities or relisting merchandise that I've sold in the past. This makes it out to be like I am listing new merchandise in eBay, but I'm not having to go through the entire process of creating a new listing from scratch. And then if I don't have any items that are eligible for relisting or adding quantities, I am going in and I'm looking for old listings. Now this is probably the easiest thing that you can do if you have nothing new that you can list. I am scrolling through my older listings and I am looking for for the ones, most particularly the ones that do not have current watchers or have never sold before because I don't want to erase any sales history, I'm looking for those listings that have not yet sold and have no watchers, I am ending them, and then I am relisting those items as sell similar. Now, if you've watched my channel before or if you've watched any other reseller on YouTube, a lot of us always preach about ending old listings and relisting them as sell similar as a way to kind of trick the eBay algorithm into thinking that you are listing brand new merchandise when really the listing was already there, you just simply ended it and relisted it as sell similar to give it a new item number. That's probably one of the easiest things that you can do to kind of trick eBay into thinking that you're listing brand new stuff when you're really not. And that kind of activity is a lot more likely to trigger a sale on that item. Cause you know, the conspiracy theorists out there seem to think, and you know, I kind of suspect the same, that when a listing has been listed a little too long on the eBay platform, it becomes stale. And those stale listings don't usually get optimum search results. So there are the theories that the longer a listing is on eBay, the less likely it is to get pushed high in search, which means the likelihood of it selling is not very good. So the easiest way to combat that is to end the listing and list it as sell similar so it has a brand new item number, and then to make it even better, adjust the title a little bit and fix the price. You could go up a little bit, you could go down a little bit, it, but change something. That way eBay really truly believes that it is a brand new listing on the platform. And if you do that, new listings are most likely to get pushed higher up in search, which means the likelihood of you selling your item is that much better. And then at the same time, you can use that as an opportunity to adjust your listings. You know, like if the photos aren't too great, you could take new photos and you can upload it with brand new photos and then it looks even better, especially because eBay has the new white background tool. You can end the listing and make that first cover photo look that much better using the white background tool that eBay offers. And then when you send the listing live again, it really looks like a new fresh listing. Something else that I am doing is I am paying my eBay fees almost every single day. I've mentioned this before in other videos. I do believe in paying your eBay fees multiple times a week, not just when it's due. Because just like I always say, any activity in your eBay store is good activity when it comes to making impressions of your listings on the platform. That includes paying your eBay fees. So I have been sending eBay a little bit of cash every single day. And this is kind of twofold, not just because it's considered activity in my eBay store, but also because in these times of uncertainty, when our sales are really down, you don't want to run the risk of not having the money when the bill comes due. You know, if you end up owing eBay a couple hundred bucks, but your sales have really slowed down, you don't want to run the risk of not having that money in your account when the bill is due. Not paying your eBay fees can result in suspension of your account. And that's another reason why I personally pay my eBay fees multiple times a week anyway, because come the end of the month, I don't want to have a $700 bill due. I'd rather keep eBay happy and just throw money really super consistently. So even during this time when my sales are slow, I am still making a payment to my eBay account every single day. And then the last thing that I'm doing, and I truly feel like it's the most important thing that I'm doing, is I am listing items based on what buyers need versus what buyers want. This is really super important because in this time where people have paychecks that are really unreliable or they're really unsure about their employment situation, they are really holding on to their cash. And the only money that they're going to be spending for a little while is going to be on things that they need. 
not necessarily the things that they want. So when I am going through looking for things to relist in my eBay store or pulling things out of a bin that my assistant has drafted for me, I am picking out the items that can be seen as a need versus a want. For instance, I'm going to gravitate more towards things like over-the-counter medicines or personal care products. So I would encourage everybody else to do that same thing. When you are sourcing and picking out merchandise that you intend to list from your desk, piles, think about what someone is going to need versus what someone is going to want. At least for a little bit. I really don't expect people to be holding onto their wallets as tightly in the next two months. But for now, in this current 45 to 60 days, I would focus the most on what people need versus what they might wanna buy as a luxury. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Down in the comments below, let me know how are your sales doing? Are you really far down? Are you up? I've heard of a lot of people's sales actually going up just based on whatever kind of merchandise you're selling. Let me know down in the comments below. How are your sales? Don't forget to check the video description. I will put a lot of useful links in there as well as some videos that I've done in the past that you might find helpful during this time. Please do remember to give this video a like before you leave as well as hitting the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more content. And I'll see you guys with my next video. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.